This video is going to help you understand one of the five categories that affect your FICO credit score. This category is called average age of accounts or credit history. If you've ever wondered, how does the history of my credit affect my credit score? Then hopefully this video is gonna help you understand. To really understand how a FICO credit score is calculated, you should Google a FICO pie chart, and that will show you how FICO weighs the factors that are on your credit report. As you can see the one on the screen here, there are five categories, and this video is specifically going to help you understand the average age of accounts or credit history. Now, I want you to notice that the lowest FICO score out there is 300, and the highest is 850. So that means there's only 550 points in a credit score. The average age of accounts or the credit history is worth 15% of your credit score. So 15% of 550 points is 82 points. So this is a really important category, especially if you're sitting around a 650, what would 82 points do for you? Well, the answer is it would put you over 700. So what I'm gonna show you on the screen here is my average age of accounts on my personal credit report. As you can see on the screen here, my average age of accounts is six years and six months. Now. It's really not hard to figure out how they calculate average age of accounts. It's quite simple. Let me explain. If you look at this credit card on the screen here, you can see that it was open in July of 2014 and it's still open. So that makes this card six years and 10 months old and it's still aging because next month it'll be six years and 11 months old. Where the confusion comes in is, is when you look at a closed account. Here's a closed account. Now let's look at this credit card on the screen. This credit card was open in August of 2010. And you can see here on the screen that it says that was 10 years and eight months ago. That can be very confusing. What you have to look at is the status of the card. And if you look down lower, you can see that this card was actually closed in November of 2018. When that card closed, that card stopped aging immediately. So what happens now? Well, that card was eight years and three months old when it closed, and it will forever be eight years and three months old. Any account that closes on your credit report will leave your credit report after 10 years, unless it has a negative connotation on it, and then it would leave after seven years. So to calculate our average age of accounts, we just have to look at each account on our credit report, add up the total age in months, and then divide it by the number of accounts, and that will give you your average age of accounts. It's really important. Now, it's our belief that if you have an average age of accounts of five years or more, then we believe you're getting all 82 points in that category. It's quite difficult to get an average age of accounts of over five years. Now, there are a couple ways that you can manipulate or increase your average age of accounts quickly. If you have a friend or family member, you can have yourself added onto one of their credit cards as an authorized user. Now, what will happen in that circumstance is the credit card will actually be mailed to the primary account holder. You won't get the credit card, but you will get credit for their great history on the credit card or their negative history. So be careful if you go that route. There are lots of other ways to increase your average age of accounts. And we teach many strategies on how to do this at BNB Credit Builders. If you found this video helpful, please click subscribe and share this information so that your friends and family member can also see this information. Check out our full library of informational videos on how to build great credit, which will save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in the course of your lifetime.